order. Oh. Mr. Russell is here to give the blessing this evening. If he can go ahead and do that for us. Father, together we are mindful of our neighbors and friends who is out. We ask that you be there with your comfort and your peace. Give them wisdom as they look for what they should do next. Then, Father, turning our attention here, we ask that you bless this meeting. Be with each one, may they speak their mind, may they be open to each other, may they be respectful. Thank you for their service. And we lift up the city of St. John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, first item is additions to the agenda. I have the expenditure of five thousand five hundred dollars under myself. Well, are there any other additions to the agenda? I need to add one more under. I don't know whether it needs to go under Mel or Jonah, but I have a citizen's complaint we need to talk about. Mel's missing a number three. We can put it as number three under Mel. That way we feel fulfilled the deal. $578,000 is for this, not just for an ordinance number, because we don't know what it's being spent for or anything like that. I can send you a fund totals report that'll have that broken down by fund. Yeah, but like I say, typically if you've seen in the paper, the county just breaks it down and says, you know, 600 of fire, 300 of this and stuff. But we really need to start reporting on what those appropriation ordinances are for, not just the dollar amount of an ordinance number. We need to start covering what those are actually for. I've had a lot of citizens ask me about that. Um, we will take it under consideration and look at creating something that is more public friendly. Yeah, that's all open records. I've had a lot of citizens come in and bug me about that in the paper. There's a motion that's been seconded on the table. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Okay, next item were citizen comments, but I do not see any comments. If she gets here a little later, we'll come back to it. Um, Chief Sanders. I don't have any second. I'd like to request ten minute executive session uh, to include the council mayor under procedure. Okay. Procedure. Attorney Client. Yeah, attorney client. Okay. 
That's fine. Also feel like we've done. Second motion. Uh, uh, make a motion for the executive session. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Ten minute executive session back to order. Um, please choose support. I'm just going to hand out the remaining uh, stuff for the policy. Can you just add this to the back side of the other stuff I'm doing? We'll be scheduling a workshop to go through the policy and all the changes so that everybody's familiar with what we're doing. Can I give you the extra one you've given? That's all I have. No. Okay. I'd like to request a uh, 10 minute executive session. Can I like the person here, include myself, uh, council, mayor, and Don, please? I have a motion for the executive session. So moved. Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. Um, next item, Mel. Uh, swimming pool manager, which right now we do not have one. Uh, we did get uh, an applicant. Make a motion that we'll take a 10 minute executive session to select the personnel for the swimming pool manager. There's been a motion for a 10 minute executive session to discuss non elected personnel. Do I have a second? Second. Um, to include Mel, the council, and the mayor. Yes, uh, could we add John? She's had some contact with you. Sure. And John. Linda. Motion to add John. Okay. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? No. Okay. Due to the current lack of a swimming pool manager, we're going to be delaying the opening of the pool until June 1st. Anticipate having a manager hired by them, but in the interest of making sure that we open safely, we're going to delay it. Okay, now your superintendent's report. Okay, Troy, you had a citizen complaint. Yeah, I was approached about the uh, uh, Johnny's trailer house addition over here. I've got several people that are wanting to sign a complaint, I guess. I mean, according to the ordinance, one can't be moved in without a permit. Well, actually... It has to be so many feet from another structure. Actually, that trailer cannot be moved in at all. It was in town, but since it's been moved from another location, the current uh, zoning regulations do not allow mobile homes to be moved in at all. Okay. They are aware. Okay. Well, as I said, I'm getting a phone ring off of it about it. So we've had quite a few calls and contacts in here. So I've been working with them. I do a little research. Are we going to get anywhere with it? or? Well, I mean, I'm saying they, they know that they can't have it there. So I mean, There's we'll been get, a request for information that they'll get tomorrow. Yeah. So. Reasonable amount of time to get, get it removed. So. Good. I guess that's all I need. John? Um, on the expenditure over 500, there was a um, whatever that is <laughs> a voucher with a contract in there for the band for 
Friday night, which is over my spending limit. It's 1500 to the Rob Northcutt Band. Request to approval of that. And that's all out of Jubilee funds. None of that comes out of city. The city puts in $500 of interest each year for Jubilee. The rest of it is all ran on either button sales or booth, um, space rental over it for the booths, and then um, several businesses in town donate. Is there money in the Jubilee fund? Oh, yeah. Come. Make a motion to allow part of the band to fit in. There's been a motion and a second to approve the $1,500 expenditure for the band for the Jubilee Street Dance. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Um, uh, the Jubilee Ed, the update, we've got a lot of things going on still, uh, a lot of things to finish up. We still need lots of volunteers, so if anybody's interested to spend a little bit of time doing a little bit of something, then it helps so that not one person or two or three have to do a lot. Um, as far as the weather forecast, we've been working on a plan B for the, the street dance um, to possibly have the band in under cover so that um, they can go ahead and set up. If we have a storm move in or rain, we can just, um, we're talking about moving some of our equipment here to another place where it'll be safe and available if it needs to go out, putting the band out here. Then we can just shut the, bring the speakers in and shut the doors down to protect their equipment, um, wait for the storm to pass, and then go back after it. So that's our plan B. Hopefully we don't have to use it. Um, I told you about the special meeting procedures. We, I've, I've checked into that and, and found the procedures. and. Um, we'll, try, we'll follow those um, per, it's from the, the league. Um, also, in your packets, I had an email a company that does codifications for cities. Ours, the last time it was codified was in February of 06, so we're quite behind. They gave an estimate. I can get other estimates. Cities of the third class don't have to put an RFP out for everything that we do, but we can get a couple of different, um, I mean, if that's what you direct me to do, that's we, I can do that. However, we don't have to by law. Um, but I can't get some other estimates from other people. This particular company that I put in your packets was um, somebody that was at clerk's conference. And so, you know, we... Now, their website, um, the one that... The uh, cityco.net, mm -hmm. I went on there and seen it is actually pretty Yeah, good, so. it's, I mean, it's... it's it, well organized. Every yeah. time that you would have an ordinance passed, I would send that to them, they would redo they would add that right into our code, put it right out on the website. That website would be linked from our website, or anybody could go straight to it whenever they were looking for code. If you guys could just go right to Fresh Code, they would do, um, I think, 10 paper copies the first time that they, for the first time around. What are you laughing about? Uh, when you said we could go on the internet or something, I just got my problem on the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> when they go through and do a um, consultation, what exactly are they doing? Are they updating the code so that they meet? What they're doing is they're looking at what our code is, looking at the ordinances that have passed since then. They're also, you know, they have legal experience. Mm -hmm. So if there's things in there that Aren't, aren't so by statute anymore, then they can let us know. They, they use this, I mean, they, they follow the state legislature, and every once in a while, the state legislature will, like a couple of years ago, they changed how you notify people for mowing mowing grass. So, you know, they would take that information and up, update the, the current with the code with the new regulations on how you, how you notify people to, to mow their grass. 
So I, I, I'm not asking for um, any kind of action that because it's not on the agenda that way. I was just giving you that information, letting you look at what the costs could be. Um, I think these guys are less than the other company that comes to our um, city clerks conferences, uh, but I can definitely get an email out to them too. They were giving us a break since we are a smaller third class city and um, don't have as many ordinances. City Clerk Financial was doing a good story. On the yearly annual thing. Usually their annual is 1500 they were giving us a break of 7 to 750 They're doing the same for Stafford. Um, we're getting ready to work on budget, so this would probably be something we would want to look at for next year's budget. Where we can look to see if closer towards the end of the year if the budget looks like it can allow to go ahead and do it this year. So it's kind of more your information. If you want me to go ahead and get more um, bids from somebody, I can do that too if you would like to see others. Just for your own information, Stafford has been on the list that the league does this too as part of the services of the league. Uh, Stafford got on their list two years ago, and they were, they were about 18th on the list then, and now they're down to about 14 on the list. And the league still charge, I think they used to charge about 2500 the neighborhood. So you're not, this isn't that far out of line, and it will probably be done much quicker than what the league can do. And I don't, they don't have the website. They don't have the website that's out there like that. I'm assuming our code isn't in electronic format at all at this no. point. Mm -hmm. so. Other than that, that's all I have for you unless you have questions. Don? I, I subscribe to a uh, national uh, legal journal and there was a notification today that came over uh, Washington in the case in a case that could have repercussions from small upstate New York town to the legislative floor of Congress, the U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to decide whether prayers at open public meetings violate the First Amendment's establishment clause. So that issue will be heard by the Supreme Court. Uh, let's just take my case up today. So just FYI, more than. Oh, the legislature's still in session, so no one's safe here. Okay, do we have any new business? Yeah, we've got some lots that I assume is being took care of, but they're getting pretty tall. Letters went out on Friday. And the police department's helped on, we've been so busy with other stuff. Adam was good about going out and getting a list going for us. So. Some, it, the time won't necessarily be up on a lot of these, but a lot of times when people get the letters, they'll go ahead and you know that it's kind of a reminder they need to do the It is a process, and it seems like it takes a long time before we can actually get on there and know. Yeah, I do we charge them at that point? When we have to, well, yeah, we... we... Yeah, we send, uh, you know, once, if they do not respond to our letter, then we have uh, B&J City of Stafford went up to 100 bucks here because they were, they, some people were saying over there, well, I'll, I'll 60 bucks an hour, and they were just working on it because they're all sitting on the road. I think ours is 75. I'm just saying that they, they bring their over there just to combat some of those neglect. But, I mean, no, it should be on the agenda, and people should be aware of it, so might be something more for Being there is there's no old business. I accept a motion to adjourn. To adjourn. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? No.